This is my Memorial Day. <laughs> my gun. This does work. It used to. Yeah. I don't know why. What am I going to shoot with this? But it does work. Anyways, let's make a little noise and then I am done because this thing won't stay in tune. These strings are old. sound that bad.
to my Uncle Joe who fought in Vietnam and died from the result of being exposed to Agent Orange. Good going! And then to my other uncle, both in the Army, both named Joe, Joe Skews and Joe Simrel. I think it's Joe Simrel. Now I gotta put my glasses back on. But he was in, he fought World War II and was killed in action. I have all this on my wall of heroes. Now, uh, Sergeant Paul L. Simrel. Wow, not even Joe. So Sergeant Paul L. Simrel and I don't know what my, uh, you know, my Uncle Joe never told me what his rank was. He would not talk about Vietnam. Very little, very little, very little at the end. And that was it. Uh, he just, you know, he had shell shock. And you got zero money from the government for that. Now guys go in for a couple of months, they come home suffering from PTSD or PTSS, and they get five grand a month. And they didn't do anything. My uncle was in there for years, for I don't know how many years, a few years, I think, well, I do know how many, but, you know, he just came home from serving a mission. So you're going out preaching the word of the Lord, you come home and the government drafts you and you got to go into one of the worst wars that we ever fought. I mean, not, not politically, not, you know, it was hell war. It was going into a scummy, stinky jungle and trying to ferret out rats that were digging down into tunnels that were thousands of miles and he had to go in there and, and take care of business. He told me very little but I know he was a gunner on a helicopter and that's it. And it sure wasn't like this. But uh, I don't want to get into uh, to the details but he died from the effects of uh, being exposed to Agent Orange because they would just tell him to, you know, dig a hole, get in it, and then, you know, breathe through a straw. What are you breathing in the crap? So, whatever. Memorial Day to me is, you know, you remember those people that fought because they're the reason you can do the stupid things that you do every day. Like me playing stupid videos or making stupid videos. But this one is quickly turning serious. So, just remember those people. Whether you like who's, in pre who's the president now or not, or war or whatever, no one likes war. Only insane people like war. But I'll tell you right now, governments have found out that war is a profitable venture. And to some people, that's their life. And I really wish it wasn't, because a lot of innocent people die, lots, millions. That's not, you know, we're not talking about the, the Holocaust people. That's a whole different thing, which my other uncle, his parents were Holocaust survivors. And I was totally into playing, you know, army man, and I was always the, 
Nazis because they look cooler. Their tanks look cooler. The planes were ugly, but everything else was cooler. Then I talked to my uncle's parents, which both had tattoos, their numbers tattooed on them. They were, you know, older people. They're not, they're gone now. But uh, they were the nicest people, and they sat me and a few other my cousins down and talked to us about it, and I was shocked because it was kind of like fairyland. I mean, this couldn't have possibly happened. And then you meet someone that actually survived it, that was in a concentration camp, two seconds away from being gassed. So we liberated them. That was good. We were a little late getting there thanks to that president which was a doofus, I think, but, you know, I don't talk politics. I don't. I'm just, let's say, neutral. This is neutral zone, but since this is Memorial Day and I'm playing a gun-shaped guitar, we'll talk a little bit about it. But let's just do this in honor of my two uncles that served in Vietnam and uh, World War II, both killed. All right? Now, we'll, I, I don't even want to play anymore. That's So let's just remember those guys, okay? Because people really did die. More people than you know have died for you. Millions have died for your freedom. One has died for you. And a lot of people need to get that through their heads. That is not that's not a fairy tale either. <laughs> subscribe and you better comment don't comment on me comment on people that you know that have been in the armed services do that at least that's what it's about today all right remember that later or actually later <laughs>